the deadly stare. Carrie Winters wasn't your typical private investigator. Her eyes, a mesmerizing blend of stormy blue and molten gold, could slice through lies like a hot knife through butter. Her stare was legendary, a glare more potent than anything known to man. It was said that if Carrie looked at you long enough, she'd peel away your secrets layer by layer until your soul lay bare before her. The city sprawled out beneath her like a sleeping beast, its heart pulsing with unseen danger. The neon lights flickered on and off, casting eerie shadows that danced on every corner. Carrie moved with the grace of a shadow, her trench coat billowing behind her like a dark whisper in the wind. She was on a mission and nothing could deter her. A week ago, a young girl named Lily had vanished without a trace. Her family was desperate and the police had hit a dead end. That's when they turned to Carrie. She had a reputation for solving the unsolvable, for going where others feared to tread. Her first clue had come from Lily's diary, a cryptic entry about the man with the deadly stare. Carrie found herself standing before an old, decrepit building, its windows like dark eyes watching her every move. She pushed open the creaky door and stepped inside, her senses on high alert. The air was thick with dust and secrets, each step echoing like a ghostly whisper. There was something sinister about this place, something that made her skin crawl. In the dim light, she saw a figure sitting in the corner, his eyes glowing with an unnatural light. He looked up, and for a split second, their gazes locked. Carrie's heart skipped a beat. She had found him, the man with the deadly stare. His eyes were like twin abysses, pulling her in, threatening to drown her in darkness. You shouldn't have come here, he said, his voice a low, menacing growl. Lily is mine now. Carrie felt a chill run down her spine, but she stood her ground. Where is she? She demanded, her voice steady, her stare unyielding. The man laughed, a cold, hollow sound that echoed through the empty building. She's beyond your reach, he said, his eyes narrowing. But don't worry, you'll join her soon enough. Carrie knew she had to act fast. She reached into her coat and pulled out a small vial of holy water, a relic from an old case involving a haunted church. The man recoiled, his eyes widening in fear. In that moment, Carrie saw her chance. She lunged forward, splashing the water on him. He screamed, a sound that pierced the silence like a knife. His form wavered, then dissolved into a cloud of dark mist. Carrie felt a rush of relief, but she knew her job wasn't over yet. She had to find Lily. She searched the building, her eyes scanning every shadow, every corner. Finally, she found a hidden door, its frame covered in strange, ancient symbols. She pushed it open and stepped inside. There, lying on the cold stone floor, was Lily. Her eyes fluttered open and she looked up at Carrie with a mixture of fear and hope. It's okay, Carrie said softly, kneeling beside her. You're safe now. As they made their way out of the building, Carrie couldn't shake the feeling that this was just the beginning. The man with the deadly stare was gone, but his darkness lingered. She knew there were more secrets to uncover, more mysteries to solve. And as long as there were shadows to chase, Carrie Winters would be there, her deadly stare cutting through the darkness, one secret at a time. 